The Big Bang Theory has lost some validity with the brand new records discovered through the James Webb Space Telescope. We just made a shocking discovery that is revolutionizing global physics. The current picture captured by this telescope has generated compelling arguments that have amazed experts, setting an end to much speculation. The telescope's most recent discovery is visually stunning and could transform our knowledge of the universe. The discussion among experts that this picture has resolved centers on the perception of the cosmos. The stunning image taken by the James Webb Space Telescope challenges our knowledge of the universe. This finding addresses one of the main problems in astrophysics, the age of the universe and its rate of expansion. Scientists from different generations have been confused by this unsolved phenomenon and have conducted numerous research studies in search of answers. Cosmologists investigate how the universe originated, how it works, how it has changed through the years, and how it might end. In the last 100 years, extraordinary advances have been made in this discipline. The Big Bang Theory, the most widely accepted theory in cosmology, holds that the universe has been expanding for about 13.8 billion years, beginning from an incredibly hot and dense state. The Hubble constant, which indicates the expansion rate of the universe, is used to measure this increase. However, determining how to measure the Hubble constant is not straightforward, and there are two major methods, local measurements and measurements of the early universe. In space, objects such as stars and type Ia supernovae, which are used as standard candles because of their constant brightness, allow astronomers to measure how far away they are and thus calculate the Hubble constant. As the universe expands at various speeds through the years, scientists can calculate the Hubble constant accordingly. There are two main approaches. One is the measurement of the early universe. Scientists use readings of the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, CMB, discovered in the 1960s as the afterglow of the Big Bang. This microwave energy comes from when the universe was only 380,000 years old. Astronomers can determine the age of the universe and its expansion rate by measuring the tiny ripples in temperature and polarization emitted by the CMB. However, there's a problem. These methods do not yield the same result. Local measurements suggest that the universe is expanding faster than the CMB data suggests. Scientists have been working hard to understand why the results vary. To unravel more mysteries of the universe, further research is underway. The differences in measurement indicate that we do not yet understand all the signals or that there are errors in one or both methodologies. But thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we can peer farther into the darkness of space than ever, before revealing planets, galaxies, and factors we never thought possible. Scientists hoped the data could help them calculate the Hubble constant, but the first wave of data has revealed unexpected findings that don't align with existing expectations. Could this data provide us a new perspective on space? We may need to reconsider what we know about how the universe works. We might discover particles and forces never seen before, or we may find that dark energy, the unknown force accelerating. The expansion of the universe needs to be reconsidered. With every new discovery, our ideas about space evolve. For example, the cosmic microwave background radiation discovered in 1965 was strong evidence of the Big Bang Theory. Before that, scientists believed the universe would last forever, expanding at a steady rate indefinitely. But new evidence showed this was not the case. In the late 1990s, when it was discovered that the universe was accelerating in its expansion, scientists also learned about dark energy and its effect. Whenever we discover something new, we test whether it fits with previous knowledge and develop new ways of understanding the universe. Without this process, the challenges we face in cosmology could not lead us to better insights. Although this problem is complicated, it's also exciting as it drives us to develop better tools to explore space. Scientists around the world are interested in this cosmological puzzle because everyone wants to understand more about the universe. Most importantly, it demonstrates how science is always evolving as we learn more about space. 
Structure formation. Another concept that goes hand in hand with Hubble tension refers to how matter is distributed in space. We use this data to model the structure of the universe and study how it has changed over time. Some areas of space have many galaxies clustered together, while others are relatively empty. Scientists use different methods to determine the value of this dispersion. One possible way to address this is to look at how different densities of matter, such as galaxy clusters, bends light from distant galaxies. This phenomenon, called gravitational lensing, allows us to see the effects of dark matter, which does not emit light and is therefore undetectable. Scientists also analyze the cosmic microwave background, the CMB radiation, the afterglow from the Big Bang. This light has traveled for about 13.8 billion years, carrying information from the early universe. By analyzing the CMB, scientists can understand how the universe was filled with irregularities when it formed. However, this data does not match the large-scale irregularities found in the the cutting-edge universe's non-spherical distribution of gravity suggests that matter in the early universe was more uniform than what's observed via gravitational lensing. This means that something essential is lacking in our interpretation, bringing us back to the mystery of dark matter and how it operates. According to Rice, he and his group were able to redefine their work thanks to the Webb Space Telescope and wanted to investigate whether a possible error in the Hubble space Telescope's measurements could be the cause of this discrepancy. However, the JWST confirmed the same deviations, which is concerning. Somewhere between these two observations, there must be a fundamental flaw in our understanding of the universe, Rice said in an interview with an astronomical magazine in the USA. Using the new space telescope has allowed us to look deeper into the universe via its sharp infrared view and study cosmic distances with ever greater precision. Both dark matter and dark energy are enigmatic components that make up a vast part of the universe, but their nature remains elusive. While black holes have been the leading cause for certain gravitational effects, there is growing interest in exploring how dark matter and dark energy may impact these cosmic phenomena. Let me know your opinion in the comments section. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you! As scientists continue to investigate data from the James Webb Space Telescope, the foundations of modern cosmology are facing unprecedented scrutiny. The telescope's ability to observe distant galaxies from just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang has challenged existing models of galaxy formation. Contrary to previous assumptions, the early universe appears to have hosted more mature, large galaxies than expected. These findings suggest that either galaxy formation occurred much faster than previously believed, or our understanding of the physics governing the early universe needs a fundamental revision. One emerging theory to explain these discrepancies involves modifications to the Lambda CDM model. The current standard model of cosmology, which incorporates cold dark matter, CDM, and a cosmological constant, Lambda, representing dark energy. Some physicists propose that dark energy might not be constant at all, but rather may change over time or interact with dark matter in unknown ways. This dynamic form of dark energy, sometimes known as quintessence, could potentially account for variations in cosmic expansion rates observed at different epochs. Other researchers are exploring alternative models of gravity, such as modified, Newtonian dynamics, MOND, or scalar tensor theories, which suggest modifications to Einstein's general theory of relativity at cosmological scales. These theories attempt to explain phenomena like gravitational lensing and the formation of cosmic structures without invoking unknown entities like dark matter or dark energy. While controversial and not yet widely accepted, these ideas highlight the growing willingness of scientists to question long-held assumptions in light of new observational data. The JWST has also opened up possibilities to study the chemical composition and atmospheres of exoplanets, 
some of which orbit within the habitable zones of their stars. These studies may not directly impact our understanding of cosmological expansion, but they add valuable context about the evolution of matter, star systems, and the potential for life in the universe. The chemical fingerprints JWST detects in these atmospheres can also provide clues about the broader distribution of elements in the universe, another vital piece of the cosmological puzzle.